about today, I'm going to talk about Nikhil uh, Draka. Uh, and further, Abel, sorry. Abel, I'm sorry. What will? Ricardo Pekka. Which is fun to say. Okay, so his actual name is Ricardo Exesantos Santos Leyton. Wow. Dang, that's well, I can name. understand why they go yeah. with Pekka. <laughs> I was playing. I was playing later on why they found the Pekka, but just no. Uh, he was born in uh, April uh, 22nd, uh, 1982. He's about three or three years old. He's kind of old now for football player and soccer player. Oh, yeah, that was a month before I graduated high school. But you can just keep talking now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, he is from uh, Gama, uh, Brazil. Alright, so like I said, he's a uh, professional uh, footballer. Uh, he plays uh, attacking midfielder, which is like probably one of the hardest jobs because you have to like uh, be constantly like running uh, back and forth to the defense or attacking. Uh, his number is uh, number ten. Uh, he played. A couple of uh, like teams he played number eight, but number nine. Uh, his salary is six point six to six uh, million dollars. Uh, he's playing now for Orlando uh, City, which is in the MLS, and he's probably like the uh, highest paid I think right now in the MLS. Yeah. Uh, That's a year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, he played for the uh, Brazilian uh, national team uh, with Ronaldinho, uh, the Brazilian Ronaldo, and all of them. Uh, he played for AC Milan, which is in Italy, uh, Real Madrid, which uh, is Spain, one of the best clubs uh, in the world, uh, Sao Paulo, which is in uh, Brazil. Okay, he's a local team, and now he's playing for Atlanta City, like 45 minutes away. Alright, so, I don't know why it's been in the early stage, but... Uh, at the age of uh, 8, he started playing for, for his uh, uh, local team. Just like every kid in Brazil, I guess. Uh, at the same time, he was playing tennis, but uh, he stopped playing tennis after... Uh, the Sao Paulo uh, football club, uh, they signed him uh, when he was about 15 years old. Uh, three years later, when he was like 18, uh, he was uh, in the pool, I guess, and then he felt like go for it. And uh, he had like a serious uh, injury on uh, his neck, and he could have ended his career right there. But uh, he got completely healed after a while, and then after that he dedicated his life to Christ. Uh, in 2003, uh, he was transferred to uh, Milan, where he played with uh, Pirlo, Pirlo, Ronaldinho, Beckham, and more other like, good players. Uh, then he transferred to Milan, where uh, to Real Madrid, which is one of the best clubs, but he barely got to play. And uh, the way Real Madrid played, I guess, it, was, it wasn't like the, the way he played, so he had a horrible season. Uh, then he transferred back to AC Milan, uh, had a good season, but then he got injured, and then he's not playing for Man City. And most of, what most of the uh, professional uh, soccer players do is that after they're done like uh, playing for Europe and all that, they just come to DMLS over here because it sucks and they just uh, plan to retire. He said that. Uh, right there we can see uh, that's Ronaldinho, that's Robinho, and that's uh when they world uh, when they won the the World Cup in 2002. Uh, 
appears what they call the Ballon d'Or, which is uh, they give it to the to the best player in the year uh, all around the world. Uh, yeah, he was like uh, the best around, and uh, it's like a good, good picture of how uh, how he is just like a really devoted person. And uh, this was after they won the uh, championship uh, for their for year. So like everyone is like pissed off like this is the guy. And he's on the, the winning team. He just like took his shirt off and showed that his person. Uh, this is how he made awards. Uh, I'm just gonna name the the best one I guess, which is the World Cup in 2002. Uh, then uh, for Real Madrid, uh, he won the uh, the championship, I guess. And then for the other team, so that, that's kind of a lot. Uh, <laughs> so, cool facts. Uh, then, uh, Kakao uh, came after his little brother, Diego. Uh, he couldn't pronounce Ricardo, so he just called him Kaka. Uh, Kaka in Spanish, or you can say Brazilian, is poop. So, it's pretty funny. So, that's why they put him with K, so it doesn't sound like Kaka. But it's still funny because uh, the, the narrators on the game, so they make fun of him. They just uh, like start, like, if it's in Spanish, they just... Yeah. Okay, so. uh, chance. Yeah, then he won the Ballon d'Or uh, against Messi and Ronaldo, uh, which is something that nobody has ever uh, been able to, to do, to win uh, the, bet, the award for the best player of the year against Messi and Ronaldo, because they always take it uh, either Ronaldo or Messi. Uh, since he was uh, a really good Christian, uh, he evangelized, evangelized to most of his teammates, the Brazilian uh, national team uh, for Real Madrid, and most of them, most of his teammates are actually like Christian right now, and it's because of him actually like, giving his testimony and all that. Uh, he's married to his childhood love, uh, Caroline Salico. Uh, Milan, and he threw like injured himself, and he was out for a couple of months. But he still uh, he talked to the to the administration and all that, and he refused to actually uh, still get paid uh, while he was injured. <coughs> uh, which is something that people actually don't do. Right. Uh, don't want the money, but he he still has a lot of money. So. Uh, and uh, he's on one of the. I'm second videos. Uh, that's where most of the celebrities, the the Christian celebrities, they just uh, uh, talk about the testimony and how they were raised and all that. That's it. Excellent. Thank you.